Hey guys, Jacob here and in this video I will show you how can you actually replace actual API key to your own, alright? So I will show you simple steps how to get your API key from a Google platform and how to, how to replace it in actual code, alright? So let's start. So first of all, uh, as you can see here especially, uh, what we have is our project, our Google Maps project, right? So this is the current state of our project. It's not finished yet, but it's it's totally okay. Uh, you, it doesn't have to be finished. When we click here on a refresh, it's working okay. But every time we make refresh, we are doing actual request to API, uh, the Google Maps API, and it costs us some small fee, all right? So what happened if we actually uh, delete the actual key, right? So this is the Clever Programmer key. We provide it to all of you, but it costs us already like hundreds of dollars if everyone is using it. Uh, but yeah, if we delete this, as you can see, uh, there's an error. It's not working, okay? Exactly. So we may need to put our own API key. So let me show you how to get it, all right? So there's a simple tutorial how to get it and a documentation all we have to go all we have to do is follow actually this tutorial so i will show you how to do it but you can also do it by yourself so first of all we have to visit this google cloud platform all right we are visiting this on a, a google account and now what's super cool in the top corner here is that we are getting the free trial, right? So we can get $300 from Google to test it out. So actually, uh, you won't pay anything, all right? So we're going to activate this bonus because we obviously don't wanna pay. Uh, we have to go through those uh, things here. So as you can see, there's no auto charge after free trial and so no worries, uh, Google won't take your money, all right? So I've read <laughs> conditions, of course. You have to read them. Uh, and let me just uh, put it out very quickly and I'll be back just in a minute. All right, guys, so it's super important to type, select the account type as an individual, right? It's not like you're some in a company or maybe you are, but I would rather, uh, yeah, select individual, put your address, name, uh, and of course the card and click start my free trial. Okay, set up billing. As I said, it's totally free. Welcome, Jakubowski. We got 300. Okay, you won't be built unless you turn on automatic billing. Yeah, we are. We we don't we don't want to do it, right? So we are super uh, secure. Okay, cool. So the first step is finished. Now, what we want to do? We want to go here, right? Uh, and again, we want to visit this page. Perfect. And what we want to do is we want to select the Maps JavaScript API, this one over here, okay? Perfect. And we're going to enable this. Okay, it's enabled. Now here we have our project. Uh, as you can see, there's a My First Project uh, which is totally fine, but we can also create a new one. So I'll just select this my uh, my new project, which is super cool. As you can see, there's no no requests yet. There are no requests yet. Yet let's go to credentials to get our API. Okay, and what we're gonna do is here click here credentials and API service. We go into create our API, create credentials. We want to have API key. Boom, it's generating the API. This is our API, okay? We can click restrict key. So basically, if you are deploying our app, we have to restrict this. So uh, this API key will be only accessible from our the our, our actual uh, website, the URL of our website. So no one will be able to use our API key even if he or she get gets access to it, all right? So we can do this here, restrict the key, right? So for example, if you have here some website, you can restrict this, all right? You can add an item 
and you can put your own domain here. So if you deploy it, I would suggest you to do that and it will be good to go, but we don't need to do it right now. Let's name our API key Google Maps 5 five day, let's say, all right? This is our API key on the right. Obviously, it will be not visible for you on the video. And I'm going to click, as you can see here, at AS API restrictions. And what you want to do, you want to make sure that you restrict it on your website if you're going to deploy your project, all right? But as I said, we don't have to do it right now. Okay, I'm going to click Save. Okay, and now, as you can see here, uh, there is our API key. I'm going to copy it. And now let's try to use it. All right. So first of all, I will delete the actual API key from Clever Programmer. I will refresh this website. And as you can see, uh, yeah, it's in Polish, sorry, but it means that it's not visible. We cannot use it. It's broken. All right. So now I'm going to copy our new API key and refresh the website and boom, it's working. All right guys, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to test out actually how the, our API key works. I'm going to make a couple of requests and now when we go back to actual dashboard, oh yeah, as you can see, we got already four requests, which is totally free as I said, so no worries. But now you're using your own API keys. Uh, yeah, now we have five, uh, which is totally fine and again, which is super important guys, remember to secure your API key if you go going to deploy your app. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed this short tutorial. Uh, let me know if everything works perfectly and see you next time.